OK, Darryl, we're down to part two uh, of the positioning of the uh, Garmin computer uh, on, on my bicycle. Now, actually, this is a slightly better position. Again, I'm using the Garmin uh, sort of third-party out-front mount, which mounts to the handlebars or on the top two nuts this time, not the, the bottom two. And as you can see, the, uh, the, the 830 is nestling between the uh, triathlon bars. So it's quite a good position because it, the angle looks better to me. I haven't tested it cycling, but I, I believe, although it won't be quite as good as when when, it, when it's up here, because it's quite a good distance for me, uh, I think it might be might be usable. The trouble is, of course, that you still can't flip and take this off without taking off the bars. So uh, I think from a usability point of view, out of 10, it's a, just a bit bigger than zero, because every time you want to take this off at the end of a ride to charge it... Um, then you're going to have to uh, dismantle the, take the under these two screw, uh, two hex belts, and then put it back um, when you want to go for another ride. That's a bit of a pain in the bottom. Um, you could you could actually just leave this unit in situ and power it via USB power supply here. But then Nagata pointed out if I get a Garmin front light which sits underneath this device, which would be a sort of a great com combo, then that is even less easy to take off. Let me just show you what I mean. Just take these off here. So the front light uh, could fit potentially on through this screw here. And the front light would sort of sit this way. So there would be a front light sort of poking out. Um, but of course, that front light is, is, is on a screw here. So if you're going to charge any light in situ all the time, it would probably be the light, because this at least has got a quick release. Uh, here and you can take it off uh, so no solutions really um, other than go back to how it was in terms of the um, the, the bicycle computer position which is to put it back you see it's what a fuff this is uh, so other, other than put it to put it back here so that's the you know that's the possible solution back there again um, but uh, <clears throat> and then maybe just mount the light here so that that may be the way that i'm going to go uh, so i wouldn't use this this mount uh, except in certain circumstances that i have no idea i'll probably just use the light <clears throat> just use the light mount uh, but that would free up the handlebars here uh, to hold because at the moment when i'm cycling i can't put my hands here because there's a light in the way um, all these considerations might sound quite academic, but if you if you do if you're this kind of moderately serious cyclist and you're cycling, let's say every day or every other day, and you're spending a couple of hours cycling, you do want it to be a comfortable position. Otherwise, things just start to get the right pain. Um, another option, of course, is not to cycle with lights. But then, of course, we're in England, and you'd be crazy not to cycle with lights because English drivers uh, don't see you coming. Sometimes, even when you do have lights on. Okay, Dari, thanks for listening and watching, and there'll be another one soon. Thank you. Bye.